Hey everyone, ever find yourself talking to a charming girl and wondering, is she interested or am I just overthinking? Well, get ready, because today I'm giving you the ultimate guide. We're diving into the top 10 questions a girl asks when she's really into you. As someone who's been on both sides, I know exactly what's going on. These questions aren't random, they're packed with more hidden meanings than your favorite mystery novel. Let's break down this girl code together, starting with the first question. Before we get started, hit the like button if you're already finding value, and subscribe for more deep, honest advice that truly works in today's world. If you're serious about supporting this channel and helping us continue delivering quality content, consider joining our channel memberships. Your support keeps us independent and able to create accessible content for as many men as possible. 1. What's your type? When a girl asks you about your type, it's more than just casual conversation. This question dives deep into what psychologists call self-disclosure reciprocity. By inquiring about your preferences, she's not just looking for a generic answer. She's trying to see if she fits your ideal partner profile without being too forward. This clever tactic allows her to gauge your interest in a subtle yet effective manner. If you answer in a way that aligns with her characteristics, she gets a confidence boost and feels more connected to you. For instance, if she follows up with, that sounds a lot like me, she's signaling that she sees potential compatibility. This is her way of waving an interest flag without outright saying, I like you. She hopes you'll reciprocate by asking about her type setting the stage for a deeper, mutual understanding. This exchange not only reveals personal preferences, but also creates an opportunity for both of you to share and bond over what you value in a partner. Moreover, this question is a litmus test for her to decide if pursuing you is worth it. If your type doesn't align with her qualities, she can gracefully exit the conversation without feeling rejected. But if your answers hint that she ticks all your boxes, she might start imagining a future together, from casual dates to more serious commitments. Essentially, when she asks about your type, she's hoping to hear that she fits into your ideal picture, and it helps her decide whether to invest more emotionally. 2. Are you seeing anyone? When a girl asks if you're seeing anyone, it's not just idle curiosity. This question is loaded with intent and is a strategic move to determine if there's room for her in your life. She's essentially asking if your heart has a no vacancy sign or if she should start considering you as a potential partner. It's a subtle yet direct way of assessing your availability without putting herself in a vulnerable position. If she follows up with comments like, oh, that's surprising, or their loss, She's not merely making small talk. These remarks are her way of expressing interest and subtly indicating that she sees you as a catch. It's her way of planting the seed that you're a desirable partner. And if you're single, she's mentally celebrating and planning her next move. Furthermore, if she starts talking about her own single status right after, it's a clear signal that she's available and interested. This is her way of creating a shared experience of being single and potentially looking for a relationship. By revealing her status, she's giving you the green light to make a move if you're interested. It's her way of saying, I'm available and I want to know if you are too. So, when she asks if you're seeing anyone, she's not just curious about your dating status, She's assessing the potential for a relationship with you and hoping that the door to your heart is open. It's a strategic question designed to gauge your availability and hint at her own interest without being too forward. 3. Do you work out? When a girl asks if you work out, she's not just making small talk about fitness. 
This question taps into the halo effect, where positive impressions in one area, like physical fitness, can influence perceptions in other areas. By asking about your workout routine, she's complimenting your physique in a subtle way and expressing admiration without seeming too forward. If she follows up with, it really shows, she's giving you a genuine compliment and acknowledging your efforts. This not only boosts your confidence, but also opens the door for you to invite her to join you sometime. It's a way of bridging the gap between casual conversation and a more personal connection. She's hoping that you'll suggest working out together, turning a shared interest into a potential date. 4. What do you like to do for fun? Asking about your hobbies and interests isn't just about making small talk. When a girl asks what you like to do for fun, she's employing the similarity attraction effect. This psychological principle suggests that we are naturally drawn to people who share our interests and values. By learning about your hobbies, she's looking for common ground and potential shared activities that can bring you closer together. If she responds with, that sounds fun, I've always wanted to try that, she's not just being polite. She's actively seeking opportunities to spend time with you and explore these interests together. This response indicates that she's interested in getting to know you better and is open to new experiences that you enjoy. It's her way of signaling that she sees potential for a deeper connection based on shared interests. Furthermore, this question helps her gauge your personality and lifestyle. She wants to know if your idea of fun aligns with hers and if you have compatible interests. By discovering your hobbies, she can envision what spending time with you might be like and whether you have the potential to enjoy each other's company. So when she asks about your hobbies, she's not just killing time. She's strategically trying to find out if your interests align and if there's potential for shared experiences. It's a way of building a connection and seeing if your lifestyles and passions are compatible. 5. Do you like to cook? When a girl asks if you can cook, she's not merely interested in your culinary skills. This question taps into social role theory, which suggests that certain skills, like cooking, are attractive qualities in a partner. In modern dating, the ability to cook is often seen as a desirable trait, regardless of gender. By asking this question, she's subtly assessing your domestication level and imagining cozy nights in with homemade dinners. If she follows up with, you'll have to cook for me sometime, she's essentially inviting herself over for a date without actually asking. It's a smooth move that shows she's interested in spending more personal time with you. This question also gives her insight into your ability to take care of yourself and potentially others, which is an attractive quality in a partner. Moreover, she might be wondering if she needs to brush up on her own cooking skills to impress you. By discussing cooking, she's also gauging if you have similar tastes and if you enjoy the same types of food. It's a way of exploring compatibility in a fun and engaging manner. In essence, when she asks if you like to cook, she's looking for more than just your ability to prepare a meal. She's assessing your potential as a partner who can share intimate, domestic moments and create a nurturing environment. It's a strategic question designed to gauge compatibility and hint at her interest in spending more time with you. 6. What's your ideal date? When a girl asks about your ideal date, she's using the concept of visualization. By prompting you to describe your perfect date, she's encouraging you to create a mental image that could include her. This question allows her to understand what you enjoy and to see if your idea of a great date aligns with hers. It's like giving you a blank canvas and asking you to paint a picture that she hopes to be a part of. If she responds with, that sounds perfect, or I love that idea, she's not just being agreeable. 
she's expressing genuine interest and potentially scheduling future dates in her mind. This response indicates that she sees compatibility in your preferences and is excited about the possibility of experiencing these activities with you. Moreover, this question helps her gauge your creativity and thoughtfulness. She wants to know if you can plan enjoyable and meaningful experiences. By sharing your ideal date, you're giving her insight into what makes you happy and how you like to spend quality time. It's a way for her to see if you have similar interests and if your idea of a good time involves activities she also enjoys. 7. What's your love language? When a girl asks about your love language, she's diving into the realm of emotional intelligence. This question shows that she's interested in understanding how you express and receive affection. By learning about your love language, she's essentially asking for the cheat codes to your heart. It's her way of figuring out how to make you feel valued and appreciated. If she starts talking about her own love language right after, she's not just sharing random information. She's giving you a guide on how to win her over. This exchange allows both of you to understand each other's needs and preferences in a relationship. It's a way of ensuring that your expressions of love and affection are well received and meaningful. Moreover, she's mentally taking notes on whether your love languages are compatible. If you say your love language is physical touch and hers is acts of service, she's already thinking about ways to combine the two. This question helps her see if you can meet each other's emotional needs and create a harmonious relationship. 8. Do you believe in soulmates? Asking if you believe in soulmates taps into the romantic side of things. This question allows her to gauge whether you're open to the idea of a deep, meaningful connection. By discussing soulmates, she's not just making small talk, she's exploring your views on love and destiny. If you believe in soulmates, it suggests that you're open to finding a profound connection with someone special. If she follows up with something sweet like, I think I found mine, she's casting herself as your potential soulmate. This response indicates that she's romantically inclined and sees potential in your relationship. She's looking for a romantic response she can gush about to her friends, hoping you share her belief in finding the one. Furthermore, this question helps her understand your perspective on relationships. She wants to know if you're someone who values deep connections and believes in the idea of fate bringing two people together. By discussing soulmates, she's also gauging if you're on the same page about the future and whether you're both looking for something serious and long-lasting. 9. What's your biggest turn-on? When a girl asks about your biggest turn-on, she's employing a tactic known as sexual priming. By bringing up this topic, she's subtly shifting the conversation to a more intimate level. This question allows her to gauge what you find attractive and to see if she embodies any of those qualities. It's a way of getting closer to you and understanding your desires without being too forward. If she takes mental notes or responds with curiosity, she's updating her playbook. She's trying to figure out how to impress you and make herself more attractive in your eyes. This question also helps her gauge your level of openness and comfort with discussing intimate topics, which can be important in a potential relationship. Moreover, this question allows her to see if there's a physical and emotional connection between you. By discussing what turns you on, she's exploring whether you have compatible desires and if there's potential for a deeper, more intimate connection. It's her way of seeing if you're on the same wavelength when it comes to attraction and intimacy. 10. Do you want to grab a coffee sometime? When a girl suggests grabbing a coffee, it's a low-risk invitation. Coffee is casual but significant. A way to spend one-on-one -on -one time without the pressure of a formal date. 
This question allows her to gauge your interest in spending time together in a relaxed setting. It's a strategic move to create an opportunity for you to connect on a deeper level without the stress of a traditional date. If she adds, or we could do dinner if you prefer, she's offering a range of options, hoping to spend more time with you. This flexibility indicates that she's genuinely interested in getting to know you better and is open to different settings. It's her way of showing that she values your company and is willing to invest time in building a connection. Moreover, this question helps her see if you're interested in her as well. By suggesting a casual coffee date, she's giving you an easy way to say yes without feeling pressured. It's a low commitment way to start building a potential relationship and see if there's chemistry between you. So, there you have it. These top 10 questions are more than just casual conversation starters. They're a girl's way of expressing interest, gauging compatibility, and subtly hinting at her feelings. Next time you hear one of these questions, you'll know exactly what she's really asking. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Stoic Mindset Oasis for more dating tips and tricks. Share your stories or questions in the comments below. We love hearing from you. And if you think a friend could benefit from this, share the video with them. Until next time, stay confident, keep your eyes open, and decode those signals like a pro.